What is going on, folks? Hope you guys enjoyed that last game. That was <laughs> insanity in the first half. I mean, there were still some crazy plays in the second half as well. All right. We got the two and seven San Diego Toreros on a seven game losing streak. They started off so promising and just they just have not been able to get it together this year like they had last year with a lot of close wins this year. All of those close games are losses. But hopefully you can finish the season strong with them. And I mean it's Idaho State. They still have a shot at a bowl game actually. They're two and six, so they could win out and reach <laughs> a bowl bid somehow. That would be insane. They only scored nineteen points a game, but San Diego, not much better with 26.3 points per game. Well, their pass defense is 14th in the country. And what's really going to be good tonight is the rush defense for Idaho State is second to last in the country. And the Toreros are 27th in rush offense. So definitely going to look to exploit that. This is our final game of Week 12. Uh, if we have enough time after this game, we'll take a look at the nation as well. That'll be... A, uh, a separate stream. But that just depends on how I feel. <laughs> if I don't feel so well, then we'll just... We'll, we'll do it after... Uh, uh, Sunday night, actually. We'll do it Sunday night if we have to. I went way past Idaho State. There they are. Look at how many players they've had throw passes this season. Billy Bennett is out for 11 weeks. So they're going to be using Adam Manning at quarterback. And I believe he is a dual threat. Yes, he is. 76 speed. Tyler Rocky in the chat. How you doing, buddy? Uh, 90 throw power, 74 accuracy. So a pretty solid quarterback. Going to be stepping in here for the Bengals tonight. And Justin Jackson leads the team in yards and touchdowns on the ground. 779 with six scores, a long of 67. And just one fumble on the season. Chris Samuel leads the team in catches, yards, and touchdowns. 37, 620, and 5. And he's a true freshman. And on defense, Tavares Bonner. 14 tackles for a loss. 7 sacks for the redshirt junior right end. And only 4 interceptions all season long for this defense. 3 of them from junior corner Nate Martin. I mean, he had 0 last year. And a bunch of forced fumbles here. 5, 6... Six forced fumbles, actually. Not, not a whole lot, but they did recover four of them. No blocks, no safeties, no touchdowns. Jonathan Green is 9 of 11 on field goals this season. And Clint Moore, their punter, averages 40 yards per punt. Not bad. And no kick returns or punt returns. Four scores for the Bengals. I'm not expecting a whole lot of defense here tonight in this game. All right, let's check out Idaho State's schedule. They lost to Tennessee State by two touchdowns to start the season. Then they beat Montana State. Southern Utah just absolutely throttled them, 51-0 in Week 5. Then they lost to Cal Poly by a touchdown. They beat Sacramento State, and they haven't won since. Northern Colorado put up 62 on them. UC Davis put up 49 on them. And Northern Arizona beat them by five leading up to this game against San Diego. Like I said, this is our final game of week number 12. And after this, we have week 13, 14, and 15 left. And that just leaves 21 regular season games. And then we obviously have uh, bowl games. Well, conference championship week, actually. And then bowl games. And we already know that San Diego is not going to get there. Not going to get to a bowl game at all. So, we might have 11 teams in bowl games. I believe everybody else is eligible for a bowl game. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure they are. Yo, what up, Rocky? How you doing? All right. Of course, every touchdown that Demetrius George scores is for Tess Majors. 
So if you hear me say touchdown for Tess, that is why. Tap out Master in the chat. How you doing? Hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday. Oh, I missed the tackle. Oh my goodness, that was almost a return for a score immediately. All right, defense. Let's step it up. And the crowd goes mild. Yeah, they're gonna toss. No, they're not gonna toss it. Manning just keeps on running. Oh my goodness. This might be a long day, folks. You need a, a win for San Diego? Absolutely. Tried so hard last week to get him a dub. Just everything was going wrong. Xavier Wilson injured, done for the season. Yeah, it's just been so hard for San Diego this season. Oh my goodness, wide open is Justin Jackson, the running back. Just all by himself up to the 40-yard line. What up, Noah? I see you uh, made it to the stream this time. Notification actually help you out. <laughs> First down and 10 from the 40. And they're gonna hand it off to Jackson. Up the middle, oh my goodness. Oh, this defense, I don't know what happened. But this defense is just not working out so well this season. Two, they give it up to Jackson. He runs a man over. He's still going. Oh, my goodness. Can we tackle this man, please? Like, on the first try? That would be great. That would be really awesome. Just seven games in week 13. So, should be a nice little break for me. Oh, I should have had the pick. Oh, man. So close. That would have been a great way to end that drive. Don't forget to slap that like button, folks. And that is a first down for Cole inside the 15-yard line. Oh, my goodness. This could be a long night for the Toreros. And man wide open. Jackson loses a yard, though. Guerrero's catch a little bit of a break there. Second down and 11 now. And Manning has a man open. That is Jones all the way to the 11-yard line. Manning with three consecutive completions. And it is now third down and seven. This is a huge play. Idaho State, 104th in the country on third down. It's just 36% of the time they convert them. And they're going to go with the option. Oh, my goodness. That's too easy. Way too easy. <laughs> it was Dylan Tong, which was me, the strong safety, versus an offensive lineman, the quarterback, and the running back. I don't. What am I supposed to do in that situation? Basically, just just lay down and <laughs> let him score. And just like that, it's seven nothing. Idaho State on top. And the Torero is going to shake things up a little bit on offense. You'll see here in a moment. We had a discussion with head coach Jack Brown about this before the game. That they're making a change at quarterback, so you'll see quickly what they're talking about with that. And Moody gets dropped at the 17 yard line. Demetrius George in the chat. And Demetrius George at quarterback tonight for the Toreros. And he's got the option. And Demetrius George. Pitches it out, and Ballard with a nice juke up to the 44-yard line. 
Jack Brown adding a little extra wrinkle here with George in at quarterback. He's also got pretty decent run blocking, so if he can pitch it out to Ballard, expect him to run down the field and block for his halfback. 91st ranked offense in the country this season, the Toreros are. And we're going to try to change that here tonight. And there is Davis, the big fullback, and he's loose. The big man rumbling down the field all the way inside the 15-yard line. Let's go Toreros. Bo Davis, the four-star fullback with a huge 40-plus yard run. offense already looking more explosive with George in at quarterback. And George cannot escape the first defender. Loses a yard on the carry. And we're not going to want him to throw the football. <laughs> he is not a quarterback. But he is a playmaker. We gotta have him out here on the field. In some form or fashion. George on the option. George inside the 10 down to the 8 yard line. It's now third down and five for San Diego. If I'm going to attempt any type of pass with him, it's going to have to be a short pass, maybe a slant. I'd rather not throw it at all with him. And he's going to throw it to the end zone for the touchdown. Demetrius George, touchdown for Tess, number one of the game. To Riley Porter, the freshman receiver. Oh my goodness, it's Demetrius George, out here throwing darts, let's go. How do you determine when to hand it off or keep it during a triple option? Well, usually I'll go into the play and I'll already think about what I'm really going to do. Um, but if the defensive end crashes in, I'm going to keep it with the quarterback and try to get to the outside. If the defensive end stays home, I'm going to hand it off to the fullback every time. Doesn't always work out, but it's really the best, best thing you can do. All tied up here. And Samuel to the 24-yard line. This might turn out to be a pretty interesting game. Don't forget to slap that like button, folks. I appreciate you. And that pass is caught by Jackson. He's only going to get maybe a yard on the reception as we hit 10 viewers on the stream. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Let's go, defense. Man, nice deflection. Okay. I half expected that to be just caught by some random receiver that was just running around the bottom side of the field for no reason. All right, third down and 10. I'm going to switch this at the last second. Oh, my goodness. And it's caught by Samuel, and he is dropped. So the Toreros defense gets the stop. And we're going to see this new look offense take the field again with Demetrius George under center for the Toreros. And here is Doug Lay on the punt return. And makes one man miss. Gets up to about the 27 yard line, 28. And let's see what we can do here. George under center. And a late pitch. 
And Davis is going to lose a couple yards here. Kind of a rough play, but Tavares Bonner kind of blew that thing up. All right, let's go fullback dive. This offense has the potential to put up big numbers on the ground. They just need the plays to go their way. And some nice blocking, Davis. Nice run up the middle. Over 300 yards rushing on the season for the freshman fullback. That'll bring up third down and six for San Diego. And George going to try to take off. Riley Porter's open, and he drops it. Oh, my goodness. George with a dime. <laughs> oh, come on. You got to bring that in, young freshman. You got to bring it in. Tyler Rocky, 9-0 on the pick'em. You don't want San Diego to lose? I feel you, man. I don't want him to lose either. And there is a pretty decent punt. And Brick Wall brings him down. That's a big left tackle. All right, defense, time to step it up again. Let's go. He doesn't get very far. Maybe a yard. Rob Roy on the tackle. The middle linebacker. San Diego is the favorite here tonight. 15 votes to 7, I believe, in the Discord. And a nice tackle by Dylan Tong. And it was 15 votes to 7 in favor of San Diego tonight. In the Discord pickle. Now third down and nine. San Diego looking to get another big stop here. And a man downfield deflected away by Moody. And a big stop again. And this punt is going to be the final play of the first quarter. Moore's last punt was 44 yards for the Bengals. Doug Lay from his own 25-yard line. I wanted to call it fair catch, but apparently the button did not register. But it's seven apiece as we head into the second. This game is going to go right down to the wire. And Bo Davis escapes again. The big fullback has another first down. Up to the 39-yard line. He is such a beast. Look at those arms. My goodness. Hundred yards of offense now for San Diego. George on the option, and this is a good one. And couldn't pitch it out at the last second like I wanted to. But George does move the chains. Inside Bengal territory now. George on another option. And George escapes inside the 35-yard line. Another nice run for him. Guerrero's up to 120 rushing yards already. Quiet down this raucous crowd. George on the option. Pitches it out, and Riley Porter is in the open field. Touchdown, Toreros. Let's go, San Diego. What a beautiful play by George to pitch that out at the last second. And Toreros in there. Baby Blues takes the lead. 
Yo, let me get a thumbnail of that real quick. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, we'll just get that right, right, right there. Demetrius George out here playing some quarterback. Let's go. Fourteen to seven now. Four plays, seventy-five yard drive. Took over just one, one, one minute. Yeah, I can't talk, man. Just took over one minute off the clock. <laughs> My goodness. I have been up since 1.30 this morning, folks. Please forgive me. <laughs> Fell asleep at about 8.30 last night, reading to my son in his bed. I, I passed out, apparently, in the middle of reading a book to him. And then my wife woke me up. I guess I went downstairs, laid down in bed, and fell asleep instantly. And that was around 8.30. Woke up at 1.30 in the morning, and then I couldn't get back to sleep after that. So, here I am. Not a whole lot of sleep. Trying to get San Diego their third win of the season. And so far, we're not doing so bad. <laughs> Walk it off, bruh. I got you. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Oh, I knocked the ball out. Let's go. Triple option quarterback in year three. Oh, snap. Maybe if San Diego gets some more receivers. You're a good run blocker, man. We just need the actual quarterbacks to stay healthy here on San Diego. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? No. Oh, my goodness. He almost caught that. Wow. Wow. Nice stop again by San Diego. Let's get some more points. Let's go. And play Apex with you afterwards. I'll see what I can do. Doug Lay on the return. Uh-oh. Oh, what a spin. Oh, my goodness. If Doug Lay had like a 90 speed, this man would have probably 10 punt returns for touchdowns. He is so shifty. It's ridiculous. Demetrius George equals Taysom Hill. I don't know, man. Taysom Hill is an actual quarterback, though, and he just plays everywhere. Only a one-yard carry on that play. Again, out to the fullback, Bo Davis. And he's got the first down. 12-yard carry for him. And Bo Davis up to 73 yards rushing. My goodness. Up to 10 viewers again on the stream. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Don't forget to slap that like button before you leave. Or not. I mean, if you don't like it, whatever. That's cool. And Riley Porter's wide open. George. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. He fumbled it. Go out of bounds. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. That is unfortunate. George throws an absolute laser to Riley Porter, and he coughs it up inside the 10-yard line. What a play by the safety. Man. Feels bad. Feels real bad. Oh my goodness. That wasn't even a good defensive play right there. The receiver just dropped the ball. Oh well, I guess it's better to be uh, better to be lucky than good sometimes, I guess. And Justin Jackson on the run. Picks up a couple yards up the middle. Should have been a face mask on the forced fumble. I don't know, that, that play could go either way. Usually if it's a forced fumble, they don't call it. Defense! 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 
All right, third down and seven. Another big play here. I'm blitzing. I don't care. Let's go. And Jackson does not get the first down. Nice stop again by San Diego. They are hungry for a win in front of their home crowd. High snap. Doug Lay on the return from the 45-yard line. Going to go up the left sideline. Does not have the speed to escape the defender, but a nice return nonetheless up to the 43. Back up to 10 viewers again on the stream. And we're about to run a quarterback sweep. This could go terribly wrong, and we do lose a few yards on it. That play is just, I don't know what it is, man. Just can't get it to work. Doesn't matter if the quarterback has the 150 speed. Like, <laughs> it's just not working. Second down and 12 now after the loss. And there's a fumble. George puts it on the turf. Harris recovers. And that is a bit unfortunate. My goodness. That was mostly my fault right there. I, I hit the pitch button. I thought the receiver was going to be a little bit closer to me. I guess not. Oh, nice deflection. Okay. I like it. I don't know who it was, but I like it. Also, shout out to my mama. It's her birthday today. She's, you know, of course, she's like 30 years old, right? Of course. Has an age today. DJ Payne on the face mask now. My goodness. Yeah, that, that, that was my fault. <laughs> that was my fault, Demetrius. Don't, don't blame yourself on that one. I just thought the receiver was going to be so much closer than he was. He was way behind me. Oh, wide receiver reverse. And Nicholson is dropped for a big loss by Boom Johnson. All right, defense. Let's get it. Keep on stepping up. Let's go. Season ain't over. I mean, we ain't getting a bowl game. But we still got three games left. Let's go. Pass over the middle. Caught by Samuel. Oh, my goodness. Tom Schaefer in the chat. I love you, buddy. Tap out master as well. All right, what are they going to do here? What are they going to do? Throw it my way. Oh, nice deflection. Oh, my goodness. Come on now. I know he's a defensive tackle, but he should have had that pick. Let's go. Come on. Shot down the field. Oh, and the game made me do all that wiggly stuff with the safety when I'm trying to drop back in coverage. I, I can't stand that. Only happens on Heisman. Good Lord. Another third down situation here for the Bengals. And the defense step up again for the Toreros. Deep shot right side. Oh, my goodness. Got mossed. Double coverage. And Moody goes airborne and falls on his face. I can't make a play on the ball. Feels bad. So the Bengals about to tie it up again here. And 14 apiece. Offside. Don't mind that. I was messing around with my controller. <laughs> Vince Wilfork could have caught that pick? Absolutely. Fork, future Hall of Famer. That was an absolute stud. And not a good kick. That's out of bounds. 
And we're going to get good field position here for the Toreros. As we hit 12 viewers on the stream. I love you all. Appreciate you. Whip Billions. <laughs> what a time to join in watching the Bengals tie it up on the first play you see. Yeah, that was that was a nice uh, nice little, uh, what you call it, streak route. That's what I'm trying to say. And Demetrius George. Oh, he gets rocked at the first down marker. But he gets the sticks moving. Let's go. That was almost very bad. Still got a little bit of time left here. Okay, I guess you can't move that receiver in motion. Whatever. Pitches it out. Mo Davis to the sticks. Doesn't get that first down. We got one timeout left. See what we can do here. I don't want to try to throw it and force it downfield. Oh my goodness, that's a face mask though. Or not, wow, they don't actually call it. That is crazy. They always call that face mask. But again, that's how San Diego's season has went. Nothing has really went their way this year. Well, Davis on the carry, moves the sticks. 85 yards for the big guy. Robbie Ballard, a little bit of speed inside the 30-yard line. Still going. Out of bounds at the 21. Just two carries today. But they've, they've both been pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty big receptions. All right, we've got one timeout left. We are in field goal range. And Riley Porter's open again. And Riley Porter's in for his second touchdown. And George has his second touchdown pass in his career. His throw power is about 50. <laughs> throw accuracy about 50. But getting him to roll out is really confusing this defense right now. And it's working out in Torero's favor. Seconds left. Those ankles are dead? Absolutely. That, that corner had no shot. Uh oh. That's what I was trying to avoid. Nice return by Samuel. But it did waste three seconds off the clock. Trying not to get beat deep, which is what we've been <laughs> doing today. Manning the throw over the middle, wide open is Schultz. And he is down at the 33 yard line. And if they were to attempt a field goal here, that would be a 50 yarder. And it does not appear that way for them. <laughs> Three test touchdowns, the trifecta. You got it, man. And Manning's going to take off. He's got some speed. And he is out of bounds. And that is the end of the first half. Torero's on top of the Bengals. 21-14. Taking a look at the bottom. Tennessee State, uh, after their loss to Jacksonville, just beat number 24, the Penn Quakers. So the first ever Ivy League school to grace the top 25 is kicked out of it. <laughs> on their first try. And here is Moody on the return. Nice return up to the 22-yard line. And let's get that ground game popping again, shall we? 
Time of possession, pretty close so far in today's game. George on the option, pitches it out, and that's Bo Davis, first down. And he is three yards shy of 100 for the game. at the line of scrimmage. Not much going on that carry. I'm going to try to hit him with that rollout to the right side again. They don't know what to do with that. And it's up to Doug Lay. Incomplete. <laughs> oh my goodness. A little bit out of his arm strength range. That's for sure. It's worth a shot, though. Lay definitely was wide open when I hit that button, but pass just did not have enough arm strength on it. Third down and nine for San Diego. And George's pass is incomplete, deflected away. That was a great play by the corner. They're going to need some help next season for San Diego. Absolutely. A lot of uh, injuries this season for them. Some suspensions that really hurt them, you know, in key games. And a lot of their close games, they just lost them. Samuel up to the 31-yard line. Nice tackle. But last season, San Diego was able to close out those close games and win most of them. And that's why they were successful, but this year it's just all went the opposite way for them. And there is Justin Jackson on the run, picks up maybe four yards off the right side. me out apparently <laughs> but I slowed him down and DeMarcus Green on the tackle that is the four-star freshman free safety switch it up here go with a nickel formation see what happens oh nice run nice cut back by Jackson he's in the open field and Jackson is gone Touchdown, Bengals. That was a great cutback. Oh my goodness. What vision. Great effort by Tom. Just a little bit late there on the tackle. 57 yards, scampered. For Justin Jackson. And with the extra point, the game is all knotted up at 21 apiece here in sunny San Diego. And time for the offense to put in some work. It's also unfortunate for San Diego that they have to play in the Pac-10 where you know, we have four other subscriber teams that are just loaded. Other than Northern Colorado, the Bears, they don't have a great defense yet. But with their safety help that they have at free and strong, I mean, that, that's enough for them so far this season. And here is Bo Davis. He's up over 100 yards now in the game. Jay Washington in the chat. What did you miss? Well, Demetrius George is in at quarterback for the Toreros. He's been there all game long. He's got a couple touchdown passes to Riley Porter. And I forgot what the other touchdown was. Was it a run? Or was it a, was it three touchdown passes? I forget already. Forgive me. Second down and seven. And George on the option. He's got Ballard. And Ballard with a nice juke. And gets up to the 33-yard line. He's got 62 yards on three carries. I like it. All right, what are we doing here? What are we doing? 
Let's go with the fullback option. 296 yards of offense for the Toreros on 29 plays. George pitches it out late, but Davis can't escape the corner. That is a loss of one on the play. Second down and 11 now. Play action. George rolling around. And up top to Ballard. Nice play up to the 46-yard line. Oh, that's right. Porter had that touchdown run. I got you. I remember now. That's also the same play that, uh, that, you, that you fumbled on. Same play, just <laughs> opposite result for us. Expect George to be knocked out on the bus ride back. Oh yeah, he's gonna be real tired. And George fumbles it again. This time it's recovered. Oh my goodness, he got rocked on that one. Let's just go ahead and hand this one off to Robbie Ballard. Give George a little bit of a break on the options. And Robbie Ballard is dropped for a loss on the play. And that was Clement. Third down and four now for the Toreros on the Bengal 40-yard line. Off tackle. Ballard has the first down up to the 31 yard line. Nice run from him. He's been a first down machine so far in this game. This entire offense is exhausted right now. This is <laughs> this is bad. Okay, let's see what we can do here. George pressured, look out. George escapes and close to the sticks. As the Toreros go up over 250 rushing yards today, that brings up second down in inches now. And there we go. The hard count gets them. First down for the Toreros. And we get a little bit of a breather there. Try to rest some of our guys. First and 10 from the 16-yard line. Toreros have only been in the red zone 25 times this season, but they've scored out of uh, 23 out of those 25 times. 20 touchdowns, three field goals. And there's Bo Davis right up the middle. And Bo Davis is in for the touchdown. Toreros get the lead back on the back of the four-star freshman fullback, Bo Davis. The 6'2", 255-pound tank. You'll love to see it. Extra point is up and good. It's 28-21 now. With less than a minute left here in the third quarter. Uh-oh. Oh, Espinosa saved the touchdown right there. My goodness. Samuel is just a track star. He's got blazing fast speed. Let's go, defense. Got that one bar on the stadium pulse. You gotta love it. Counter left side. Jackson is dropped by Luke Moss, the middle linebacker. Number 55. I am 
and one on one with a slot receiver with Tong. That is not good. Not a good look. Oh, sit down, son. Jackson goes over 100 yards with that carry, but he got planted on his back. All right, third down and five. This is huge. Three of seven on third downs today. The Bengals are. Manning to throw over the middle and is somehow caught by Jackson to move the chains. Oh, my goodness. That is going to be the end of the third quarter, folks. Get your fours up in the chat. Let's walk out of here with a dub, folks. Let's get it. Desperately need a win here. Come on, defense. And it's play action. Deep shot left side. Man open. It's Nicholson. And DeMarcus Green saves the touchdown inside the 20-yard line. But a big-time pass from Adam Manning. True freshman quarterback. Man, oh man. Crowd getting as loud as they possibly can right now. On first down and 10. And deep shot to the end zone, deflected away by DeMarcus Green. Closing speed, baby, let's go. And we're going to go ahead and uh, get rid of that animation right there because that would have drawn a 15-yard penalty on Rob Roy for taunting. Second and 10 from the 17-yard line, direct snap. That's not going to go anywhere. Nice try. I didn't know I was playing against Miles Dawkins out here. Third down at 12 now at the 19-yard line. They are 50% on third downs tonight. And Manning is sacked. Huge play. Let's go. Boo Johnson on the sack. Just blows past the right guard. They're going to have to settle for a field goal attempt. This is a long one. 45 yards for Green. And the kick is up, and it is good. Almost hits the crossbar. Oh, my goodness. You understood the Miles Dawkins reference? I appreciate you. All right, Doug Lay, I'm just gonna do this one down. Don't need any fumbles here. Try to pound that rock. You know we're going to the big fella, Bo Davis. Up the middle, jukes a man. Oh, he's still going. Jukes up six yards. Very exciting six yard carry for the big fullback. All right, what are we doing here? Triple option. Let's go. Let's go, George. And George falls forward, picks up maybe three yards. Hasn't had a big carry here today. But he has helped make this offense a little bit more explosive. That speed of his. Third down and one. This could be huge. Be able to run off another minute off of this clock. And Bo Davis has the first down. Picks up two yards. 18 first downs tonight for the Toreros.
fullback is a little bit gassed right now. And with good reason. He has been the bell cow here today. And George. Nice juke. George picks up 11 yards. That's his best run of the ball game. And move the chains again. A run designed to the right side. He took it to the left instead. Give it up to the other big fellow, Robbie Ballard. And he's gonna break a tackle and he's dragged down by the face mask. Yeah, the face mask on the defense. Tack on five yards. And that'll give us another first down. First and five. Still first down. Now remember, folks, Idaho State is still fighting for a bowl bid. If they win out, they have a shot at a bowl game. If they lose here tonight, they are in the same boat as San Diego. First down and five. And George just falls forward, picks up maybe a yard. The safe play right there. Brings up second down and four. It's a six play, 30 yard drive, two minutes and 10 seconds off the clock. George on the option, pitches it late. Bo Davis, first down and more to the 40-yard line of Idaho State. Davis with a buck 36 tonight on the ground, 78 after contact. And George and Davis are exhausted as they try to extend this drive. Try to give the ball off to Robbie Ballard here. He's the only one that's not completely gassed. Everybody else is going to need some oxygen on the sideline. And Ballard falls forward. Maybe a yard on the carry. And they say he just got back to the line of scrimmage. And they finally call a timeout. <laughs> after we wasted the clock down to 149 and that gives our team a chance to get some rest and we are all good to go for this next play and Bo Davis falls forward again picks up three yards that's gonna bring up third down and seven See if we can convert here today. We are four of six so far on third downs. George tosses it up, and Doug Lay can't come down with it. That's going to bring up fourth down and seven. I don't think we have the leg for a field goal here. So we're going to go for it. This is risky. But we don't have the leg for a 53-yard field goal. We just don't have it. Try to draw him off sides if we can. And George is going to take off left side. And George has the first down. Oh, my goodness. George, 74 yards rushing tonight. And that might have sealed it. We shall see, folks. They do still have one timeout left. 11 play, 54 yard drive coming up on three and a half minutes off of the clock. And George has definitely been the difference here tonight. He's brought an extra dimension to this offense. Robbie Ballard gets a block, 
And Robbie Ballard stays in bounds inside the 15-yard line. Another first down. That is the final timeout of the game for Idaho State. George picks up a yard on the play. Trying to get that clock moving. Second down and nine. Stays in bounds, falls down. No gain on the play. And that, my friends, was the final play of the game. San Diego is going to walk out of here with the win. 28-24. And they now end their seven-game losing streak. My goodness gracious. So glad we were able to pull out a victory here tonight in front of the home crowd. And that, that losing streak was just, that was so rough to watch and be a part of. But we got it done here tonight. Three and seven now in the season are the Toreros. Demetrius George gets his first career win as a quarterback for San Diego. My goodness. Several touchdowns for Tess here tonight. And the dub for her. Glad we could finally pull that out. Over 400 yards of offense. 330 on the ground for San Diego. And George with 85 yards passing and two touchdowns on just four completions. I love it. Let's go, Toreros. That felt so good to win that game. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I've been trying so hard with them this season. I mean, I try hard with every team, but... Just everything that I was trying with them this year, it just it just hasn't been working out the way that it should have. And it it was rough. It was real rough. I'm glad we were able to pull this victory out in front of the home crowd. Demetrius George, prime time George. Four of eight, 85 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. A long of 34. He also had 76 on the ground. Riley Porter had a 33-yard touchdown run. Robbie Ballard with 82 yards on 8 carries. Bo Davis put the team on his back tonight. 16 carries, a buck 39, and a touchdown. My goodness. George did have two fumbles. I believe he lost one of them. And Porter lost the other fumble. Porter, three catches, 63 yards, two touchdowns. Robbie Ballard with a 22-yard reception tonight. And, of course, Porter dropped that third down pass. That was just right in his hands. Should have been an easy catch. And no sacks on the quarterback tonight. Green and Price led the team in tackles with four. Boom Johnson had two tackles for a loss and a sack. And, I mean, the defense wasn't really on the football field a whole lot tonight. They did get that sack, though. And six pass deflections. No forced fumbles, nothing like that. Two punts for Castillo with a 41.5-yard average. Not bad for the freshman. And Doug Lay with 21 yards on punt returns tonight. And that is it, folks. We finally pull off the dub with San Diego ending the seven-game losing streak. And we get our first conference victory of the season. My goodness. What a game. That is the end of week number 12. Let's advance it real quick and show you guys what week 13 brings for us. I know we have... Seven subscriber games in week 13. Or, yeah, seven teams of ours playing. <laughs> There's one subscriber versus subscriber game. And that is going to be the final one of the regular season for us. We'll also get a quick look, obviously, at the, the standings. We'll see on the schedule. 
Man, that win felt good. So happy for Demetrius George. <laughs> His first ever playing time at quarterback. Comes out, throws two touchdowns, and has a great game on the run. Oh, my goodness. We got a five-star halfback for Jacksonville. Oh, my. And a four-star middle linebacker. You got to love that. And a tight end for San Diego. We get our first recruit of the pre of the uh, in-season recruiting for San Diego. That is huge. And a four-star outside linebacker for Cal Poly. A four-star middle linebacker for South Dakota State. That is humongous for them. They need help on defense desperately. Yeah, let's go ahead and save it. Look at the <laughs> look at the logo color on Southern Utah. All I have to do is move down. But it looks like Savannah State is number two in the nation. Southern Utah only jumps up to seven after beating the number one team in the land. And their, their schedule doesn't get much easier. I mean, they got to take on number 18, UC Davis. Um, I mean, that's going to be <laughs> that's gonna be a rough game for them. Uh, but I think it's going to be a really fun game. My goodness. But Northern Colorado, they are bowl eligible. Their next game is at, or against Northern Arizona. They'll be hosting them. But as soon as this saves, because it takes forever. But I'd rather do it now and not forget about it and then turn the game off and lose everything that we just did. Because, you know, I I've had that happen before. And it's very upsetting, and I'd rather not do that. <laughs> it hasn't happened to any of our YouTube series. But if it did, I mean, I, I don't know what I would do. But my goodness. So UC Davis has just been blowing people out the past couple weeks, and they've only moved up three total spots from 21st to 18th. So they, they had a 59 to nothing shutout against Eastern Washington where the Eagles had negative 20-something yards of offense. And UC Davis moved up one spot, and they just had another huge win. I can't remember who they just destroyed, but... They only move up two spots after that. Like, what? But anyways, here, here is the schedule. Number 7 at number 18, UC Davis. San Diego at 1-9 and nine, Sacramento State. Should be a good game there as well. I know it's a 1-9 and nine team, but with the struggles that San Diego's had this season, I expect that one to be close, just like the one that we just witnessed. Uh, South Carolina State at number 2, Savannah State. Northern Arizona at Northern Colorado. Prairie View A&M versus, or at number 15, Jacksonville. That should be a fun game. Prairie View A&M is actually pretty good at 6-3. and three. Uh, Number 25, North Dakota State. They get up in the rankings at 7-3 and three on the season. And VMI, number 6, in the land at number 11, William & Mary, who is coming off that loss to the Savannah State Tigers. And that is going to be our Week 13 schedule, guys. My goodness. But we're going to... Take a look at the uh, Sports Illustrated right here, and that's about it. Out of nowhere, the Bulldogs are 9-2 and two and are playing as well as anybody in the nation. The Bulldogs, obviously, with Heisman frontrunner Brandon Allen. I mean, they've, they've just been phenomenal. They do have a couple losses, but Brandon Allen has been just absolutely unstoppable, just dominating every single defense. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at the nation uh, Sunday night, probably, because I just I don't think I have another video in me right now. So, that is going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this W by the San Diego Toreros as much as I did. Because, I mean, just... <laughs> I worked so hard to get them that win. My goodness. I know it might not seem like it, but that, that, game, was, that game was tough. But that is it for this video, guys. I will see you guys Sunday night with taking a look at the nation for week number 13 in our FCS Dynasty. So, until Sunday night, take it easy, guys.